Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic, and welcome to a new series, Empyrean Galactic Survival. Now, this is an indie game, an indie game that has uh, been in development for a very, very long time, uh, as far as I've been uh, told since 2013 or 15, it's one of the two, I can't really uh, tell, but I think it's 2015. Anyway, it is a indie uh, game, and the best way that it has been described, and this is coming directly from a Steam reviewer, it is a mixture between No Man's Sky and Space Engineers, and after watching uh, the trailer, I was like, yeah, it's worth picking up, especially because it was as well on sale. Uh, thank you, Void Pancakes, for mentioning uh, this game. I haven't actually played it yet. The only thing I've done is a two-minute walk, just to test out if everything's working correctly, if... Uh, uh, you know, everything's cool. Now, it has a lot of decent settings, but it is a little bit outdated. As you can see, the screen is a little bit darker for some reason, and everything is, like, just turned on. I don't know why this is off. Whatever. I just I, I just came in, and basically this was everything was set, except for the FOV, uh, and that is about it. And I've turned up, turned up the brightness by a little bit, as you can tell there. Uh, you do have a player avatar, which I just basically clicked here a couple of times until it was something that was that I sort of liked because uh, you know you can basically pick from presets and that's about it that was fine I was like yeah sure I'll probably never see it again anyway but anyway let's start off with a new game now this series will be replacing for those of you that don't know yet I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it by now uh, it will be replacing Deep Rock Galactic um, it, not permanently in all likelihood Deep Rock Galactic will be back in the future for sure but it won't be now now uh, I, the first time around, I just started with everything like this, you know, because I didn't know what I was doing, but, you know, I'm just gonna rename the game and we're gonna call it, uh, Survival, Survival 1, doesn't really matter, uh, Seed, I guess that's just for randomness, I guess you can put somebody else's Seed, it does generate terrain randomly, apparently, and we have Medium Difficulty setting, oh my, I didn't click here last time, I just basically press Start, okay, we're not gonna bother with that, we're gonna leave everything on, uh, you know, on medium, uh, standard, at least for the first run. Now, let's click start. So last time uh, when I started, actually the game takes a while to load. I actually thought it crashed twice. Uh, so if you are picking up this game, uh, do keep it, oh, it actually loaded properly because this thing was just paused here and I was like, what is going on? Oh, that was very quick, way quicker than last time. I guess the first time might be, you're approaching the planet. Ovelia, steer your escape pod to a safe spot well. I didn't really manage to steer my, uh, oh my, this is weird. It's because up is down and down is up. Oh my, it doesn't have a pause, it doesn't pause. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, pull up please. Yep, never mind, I guess I can't. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Never mind, we're landing here anyway. I actually thought I crashed uh, really badly the first time around. But apparently no, because the, it's always on the side. Okay, emergency situation detected. Well, you don't say. Protocol something has been initialized. Yeah, sure, let's activate. Uh, ship status. It does have a story. Uh, ship status destroyed due to malfunction in engine system or pilot error. Current situation crashed on an unknown planet. Uh, pilot status successfully abandoned ship in an escape pod. Hmm, could have told you that. Pilot health low but stable. Really? Is this a, oh, it is half. I just noticed these. So you do have a hunger meter. I thought you had a uh, water meter as well. Welcome back, Commander. Glad you're still alive. Integrated data assistant Ida. Okay. To start with the Robinson protocol, please access the escape pod inventory by pressing the F button. Alrighty. We have some emergency rations. Okay. They restore 300 food and 50 health. I do have some stuff on me, apparently. An energy bar. Pure, uh, we'll, we're gonna look up these in a moment. So we have purify water, stamina, but body temperature minus eight. Effective against hangover and catching fire. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, detector allows to scan an area for structures and resources in the in range of the device. Works on planets and in space. Survival tense. Okay. Uh, restores normal temperature. Okay. Uh, or scanner will show underground ore rocks within a range of about 20 30 meters while handheld drill is equipped. Uh, that was a weird thing. That's definitely not from me, that's from the game. Alright, let's look at these. So we have energy bars which are perish time. Oh, so there are perishables, but 40 not 45 food. Portable heater slash cooler will warm you up or cool you down if you are close enough to the device. Can only change temperatures up to a maximum limit. Okay. 
bandages, so I'm assuming I know what these do. Open wounds, uh, effective against open wounds, broken legs, closed fractures, and open fractures. Okay, uh, this is antibiotic ointment, wow. Uh, it's giving me a lot of stuff here to begin with, I'm kind of afraid. Uh, effective against dermal burn, frostbite, and necrosis. Ooh, necrosis. Effective against, uh, against poison. Oh, this is anti-toxic ointment. Uh, poisonous bite and dermal parasites. We have a survival tool. Tool used for basic defense, resource gathering from rocks, and salvaging of structures. We have a health pack, which is effective against uh, open wounds and restores 250 health. Okay, and these we all read. Okay, so I'm going to put this on one here. And, uh... uh mm, Handheld drill? I don't have that yet. Okay, let's leave the pod. To familiarize yourself with the heads-up display, use the mouse and hover over the various icons. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know what food is, we know what uh, health is, okay. Now let's check your personal data system, PDA mission parameters. We have oxygen, so that's I'm assuming that's for underwater or for up in space. Suit temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, body radiation. Oh, this seems uh, way more complex than what I bargained for. Right, so escape pod is empty. Uh, tab is the way to at least uh, bring up the menu. So open the PDA with F1, that's not a good idea. Alright, PDA in log files. Log files, what? Do I just click like that? No. What is that? Open PDA, I did. Log files. You can find all necessary information for your mission here, okay. Click on PDA log to read the mission log. Ah, oh, okay. Really manually complete the section. Yep. Well, it says uh, to manually complete it, so... Uh, open your inventory. Didn't we just do that? This full system displays health, food, stamina, oxygen. Okay, we already saw that. Um, these values will drop over time when taking extensive actions like jumping, space, or running. Shift plus W. Okay, well, uh, at least this is the tutorial. Uh, discovered a new POI wreckage. So this must be where we landed next to. I guess we landed next to our wreckage. For uh, the info system will display your health. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, anything else? Food and health. Consume energy bar, heal, use health pack. Okay, let's do these quickly. So I need to consume... That's not how you consume them. Do I press E? No. Ah, shift plus right mouse button. There it is. And it said to use a health pack. So let's use a health pack. Now let's find some rocks and drill them. Close the inventory, then select the toolbar slot and open the context menu via what? Okay. Closed it, then select the toolbar. Right mouse button? No, that's, that's not how it's gonna work. It's probably like this. What? Okay, close the inventory. That's the first thing we're closing. Then select the toolbar slot and open the context menu via right mouse button. Which slot am I supposed to? It's this one. Of course it's this one. Salvage resource drill. Okay, so I should have known. It didn't tell me to uh, do it, so... Is that a rock? No, it's... Okay. Where is this thing's energy or is it like infinite? Oh, okay. It's a terrain manipulator, more or less. Okay, how am I supposed to... Removes terrain and extracts ores from underground resource deposits, as well as from surface rocks. Does not pick up ores automatically. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna need to find... Okay, don't get in the hole, please. I need to press F. Oh, that's uh, to pay respect, of course. <clears throat> right, so apparently... How am I supposed to use this? Within a range of... 20, 30 meters while handheld drill is equipped, but do I use it or something? No. Apparently not. Nope, don't drop. Okay, that, that's gonna be finicky, for sure. And there's no prompt to pick it up. Okay, that's interesting. Resource drill, salvage, and defense mode. Okay, we're gonna go for research drill. I know it's a little bit slow, but I would rather have... Ah, oh, it's actually pinpointing me towards the resources, but I really wanted to see what the, this thing's about. I guess we can always come back. All right, there really isn't much of a sprinting animation. There, I don't think there's third person. At least I can't find it. Discovered a new resource, copper deposit. Oh, but that's too far away. Why is it over there? 
At least I don't have to scan it. You know, there, there's a good thing about that. So let's see if we can survive the first day. Oh, what? Isn't that something? Like, that has to be something, right? Like, it can't be nothing. Like, it's red. Uh, that is... Oh, that's actually ore. But what type of ore is it? Because it, the, the thing was on my screen for like a second. Oh, that's copper. Okay. That explains it. What is that thing? All right, so I guess I have to dig down here. Is that a good idea? I really shouldn't dig down. Like, straight down. Alright. We need to replenish your food reserves. Pick up some plant protein or vegetables, Commander. Wait, did I just complete the mission? I don't think I have. Alright, how did I pull up the PDA again? I did! Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so now I need to get back up. The problem is I dug a hole. And there's no jet- oh, there, there is a jetpack, isn't there? No? No, I guess I just climbed up through here for some reason. There is no jetpack, right. Alright. Well, at least, you know, I can dig my way out. And now there's a huge hole in the universe. Ah, uh, is that- oh, this is the copper deposit- okay, no, I probably still shouldn't be digging directly down. Am I actually getting this ore automatically? Yeah, I think I am. But it said you're not gonna do it. It said that I have to actually manually pick it up. The reason I'm gathering this is because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need more in the future, so... Okay, this thing, I don't think it has ammo. I think it's just infinite, so... You just spam it like crazy. Actually, I should lower the volume a little bit. Sorry about this. I did actually lower it a decent amount, as you can tell. Lower it a little bit more so it's not too, too loud. Because this gun is a little bit loud and a little bit flashy. Okay, maybe we're done? It's not really doing much now. Let's see, how much do I have? Is there weight here? Oh no, uh, there is weight, but we're limited by volume. Okay, that's nice to know. Come on, just, just last one. Last one and I'm done, yeah? It's not digging. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're done. Uh, I said I'm done, so I'm done. Now I need to dig an extra way out. Nope, no I don't. Okay, good. So I need to find... Uh, plant matter? Sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. Salvage own and public structures won't always return components. Short range defense can also harvest wood. Okay, that's good to know. So, uh, how do I... Is this how I do it? Doesn't look like it. Hmm, how am I supposed to find plant matter? Plant protein is one of the main sources of food early on the planet, but you can find a lot- Oh, okay, these hot dog things. Uh, not the most- Note the most of the harvestable items have a perish timer and will spoil into some rotten substance, but even that substance can be used. Of course, if you need assistance with finding the, cor the correct plant, check the biologist guide in the imp- Pyropedia tab in your PD? What? Which one is that? Okay, this is inventory, isn't it? What is this? Oh, it's a tech tree. Oh, it has arc style tech trees, of course. Uh, blueprints? Oh boy. Uh, factions and. Uh, uh, I suppose this is factions? Yeah. Where's the registry map, system map, galaxy map? I guess we don't have access to whatever it wanted me to have access to. Let's find those. Oh, okay. This 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 blue thing has is plant protein as well, but these apparently aren't. These are just like there. So let's craft an energy bar. Like, how do I do that? Now, craft an energy bar. Open your inventory uh, tab and select Survival Constructor on the upper right corner. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, it's gonna take some getting used to, to be perfectly honest. But it's understandable. It's a new game, to me, for me. I just double click and I'm making three apparently. Uh, plant protein 2, craft time 21 seconds, and, uh, I'm not entirely sure, does this thing's perish time go up or go down? Hmm. Let's see, am I crafting all three for 20 seconds, or... Well, that was only one. I guess that's, uh, about as much resources I had. Now, I'm actually gonna set this all over here to 9. Oh, it actually gets removed from your inventory, it's not just a shortcut. Commander, I'm receiving a distress signal from a nearby location. I have placed a yellow marker on your screen. Uh, okay, let's, we have a map, apparently. Oh, it's an interesting type of map. 
The map offers you details about the planet's resources, deposits, point of interest, as well as other important information. Equip the detector on your toolbar and perform scans with the left mouse button periodically to reveal points of interest. Okay. Uh, that's... Okay, so that's how I do scans? Is that how much... Oh, that's how long it's gonna take me to actually scan that. You know what? So basically I can do it like this. And I can just go to the wreckage, which is over there. Which is, uh... At least, you know what, you know what I'm glad? I'm sort of fast. And it's not like a really slow look. Commander, you're getting closer to the signal source. Hold down left shift to run. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh, okay, there's more, uh... How, okay, that's two plant proteins, so I'm gonna need more if I really want to make more energy bars. Okay, that's... I'm assuming that is as well. Oh, that's herbal leaves. Level two unlocked. Ten unlock... Yeah, it's exactly like Ark. Uh, the tech tree, that is, you know, you get, like, points and you get to spend them, which is kind of nice. I do actually like that. Like, uh, okay, so this is the place. Check the wreckage for anything of interest, like containers, personal containers. Take anything you find with you. Oh, you don't say. Okay, nope, that's not gonna work. You cannot damage the target with this weapon. Of course I can't. This is just a multi-tool, basically. Check the wreckage for anything interesting. Yeah, I am. Oh my, projectile pistol. Yeah, so we're... Uh, pistol rounds. Okay, I'm gonna equip that on two, I suppose? Do I need to? No, okay, I don't need to. Okay, that's pl oh, that's plant protein. Uh, now I want hazelnuts. Motorbike construction kit. Can I just, like, transfer this without having to click? Like, you know, there's a button for it or something. Oh, there's a transfer all, isn't there? Of course there is, of course there is. Okay, with the newly found items and devices, we should start a temporary camp. No! Open your tech tree in a moment, in a moment. Core, central processing unit, required on every structure when destroyed structure is not controllable anymore. Okay, it's just the core. Steel plates, I'm not gonna read that. Electronics, I'm not gonna read that. Motorbike construction kit. Intermediate product, a product used as a component for processing into a more complex product. See templates for exact use. Oh boy. Wheat, which is a sprout. And we have tomato sprouts, and we have aloe vera sprouts in iron ore. Okay, that's nice. So before I actually even open that, are these different storage boxes, or is just, this just the one? Okay, there was just the one. No, no, no. Uh, F3 is probably this, so I'm just gonna click there. Double left click on the portable constructor in the miscellaneous tab. Oh my god, there's different tabs. Oh my, this is way more complex. If you're not able to unlock the constructor because you're not yet suf of sufficient level, you must earn more experience points in order to level up. Se see the PDA for more info on how to earn XP. Uh, so I need to, what did I need again? Not a water generator, not a water condenser, what? What? It said something like constructor, which I don't see. Ah, there it is, portable constructor, okay. So that was one point, uh, and I have nine more. These, apparently everything in green is unlocked. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with them yet, because I wanna look up uh, through the most of the tree before I actually do anything. As you can see, some items are already unlocked. When you achieve the next level, you can unlock more stuff and craft advanced items. Now craft the portable construction in your survival thingy. Uh, why does it have a lock thing on? Oh. Ah, uh, that's because that's a heater. Sorry. Uh, so that's three iron ore. Really? Well, good thing I had them. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna take... Oh, okay, so you can you can queue up extra ones even if you don't have the materials, okay. And since my mouse double clicks, that's amazing. Okay. Where are you gonna set up camp, though? No, oh, that's... Well, I guess it's here. Since we have a hoverbike, I guess, and we are gonna be setting up... Okay, I can't get these. We're gonna be setting up a temporary thing. Why can't I? What is this useless weapon? Uh, I'm very slow. Why am I very slow? All of a sudden I'm slow. Ah, sideways is just very slow. Okay, that explains it. Can I get a butterfly? Nope. Can I shoot a butterfly? Nope. I craft? I have craft. Oh no, I still haven't. Okay. What are we gonna do? Let's craft some energy bars, right? We have protein, I think. Yeah, we have four. Um, ah, okay. The thing is, though, there's no uh, audible... You know, there's no audio signal that I've queued them up. And uh, this, uh, the tooltip does go in the way a little bit. 
Emergency O2. Purify water one. Huh. Yeah, there really needs to be an audible uh, click there when you add something to the queue because I just added four and I actually thought I didn't add any. And well, what am I doing now? Um, salvage, defense mode. To make use of the portable constructor, you need to place it on the ground first. Add it to the toolbar, select the slot, and point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, where is it? Oh, it's in the output. Okay, we're gonna place it on three and. Oh, it snaps. Okay, nice. I like snapping. Uh, there is a temperature info. Uh, there is temperature info on the top right. Okay, 32 degrees Celsius seems too hot to me. Uh, if the area is too hot or too cold, you may need to use the portable heater cooler, place it on the ground, and it will automatically level the temperature out. Okay, that's actually really nice. And so you don't have to bother with like ACs and stuff. Uh, okay, so. Uh, okay. Oh, I just. I need to place it regardless. Okay, so I don't have a choice. Can I just press E on it? No, it has to be on the toolbar, I think. I can't place it on top, so I guess I'm gonna place it over here. Don't forget to pick up uh, Shift plus F, these terrain placeable survival devices. If you plan to go exploring, it might save your life. Okay, so Shift plus F and I can pick it up, and I can actually pick up both of them. I strongly recommend you place the survival tent as well. It is not only a sleeping place for the night, but also serves as a respawn point. Uh, well, it's not like we're too far away. Why can't I place it? Maybe Shift plus left mouth button? No. Shift plus right? Okay, that's kind of... I think I just threw it off. I think I just threw it. Yep. Where is it? Where did it go? I'm gonna take this. Because where did it go? It's not underneath these two. Um. I just threw away my tent by accident because... Oh, there it is. Never mind. It went over there. Oh my god, that's a big tent. Yeah, you know what? We can place it. Can I rotate this? How do I rotate things? It's not how. I guess I can't. I'm, I'm gonna assume I can't. Pressing the R? Z? It's not Z. Oh, Z is drop. Okay. Don't press Z. Uh, press F to sleep until morning or shift plus F to pick it up. You know what? I kind of like that I can pick it up. But I really don't need to. So, motorbike is our next step. Uh, motorbike. The motorbike is a lightweight vehicle that can be picked up. Okay, so yeah, I just need to craft and deploy it. Um, how do I craft that? Oh, I can't do oh, energy drink. Okay, that's nice. Well, I mean, I have a construction kit, but what do I do with it? It's on the bar. Right mouse button? No, nothing? Okay, no. Um, maybe there's something in the generator cargo boxes. I'm gonna see, uh, I'm gonna look through all of these, by the way. Oh, this game is sort of graphically intensive for some reason. CPU is like... Totally chill, but the graphics card's at like 60-70%. Ah, uh, no, wait a minute. Um, OBS recording as well uses the graphic card, sorry. Uh, small small vessels, no, they're not, I don't see a hover bike here. Capital vessels, no, tools, weapon, oh, we have weapons. Ooh, shotguns, projectiles, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, maybe it's in base? No? H how do I build it in that case? Did I misread something? I craft and deploy. The motorbike is a lightweight vehicle that can be uh, picked up with shift plus F and carried around. It is an excellent means of transportation on land if you are not expecting enemies. It has no cargo hold, offers no protection against incoming fire, and as such has to be handheld, handled properly. You should look for a hover vessel early on. Well, would you look at that? Okay, but it is damaged. How do I... Uh, uh, what do I do with it? If it's, if it's damaged... I cannot pick it up. Why is F the main key though? Shouldn't it be E? Like every game uses E, this one uses F for some reason. Uh, how do I repair this? No, like seriously. And maybe like this? Stat no, stats? No, we don't care about stats. Uh, I can't figure it out. Cannot damage it. It says resource over there. I am at a loss here. It does. It did say resource over there, though. So oh, let's let's look at what happened with the map. Oh, we did explore it. I'm not entirely sure what these are. I'm gonna uh, place this over here. Oh, okay. So that's it is ticking down. It's ticking up. I don't know. It's doing something. I oh maybe I craft the bike through here. 
Okay, so I already have a construction cap. Okay, there is a motor, which is steel plates, nanotubes, and electronics. Oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, uh, boy. Mechanical components, biofuel, electronics. We have some stuff. I mean, we have the steel plates. Do I place just stuff here? Yeah, I do. I guess electronics, construction kit. I, I'm not entirely sure if that's even gonna be needed over there, but whatever. Okay, so what do I do? Mechanical components. Inter intermediate, uh, intermediate production product used as a component for processing into a more complex product. So it's a product used to... Oh boy. See templates for exact use. Where are these templates? Building blocks. Devices. No, I'm pretty sure that's just filters over there. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we need a motor so we have a construction kit. Okay. Pretty sure we need a motor, which is nanotubes times three, which is something we don't have. Ah, there they are. So that's carbon substrate one. Huh? What, what does copper ore do? Oh, I can make copper. Ingots. Iron ingots, silicon ore, copper ore, okay. Oh, I can make I can make them from stone. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Well, I guess I can do as many of these as I need. I mean, how much does it take? Uh, okay, so it takes five ore and it outputs ten ingots. Oh, boy. Um, Alright, so I need carbon substrate, I think. Purify water, water container, plant fiber, cement, wooden planks, nitro something. Ah, oh, there it is. So that's plant fiber four and stone dust. And this is stone dust. Okay, so I'm gonna need stones and stone um, stones and fiber. Oh wait, I have more of these. Okay, so they're not gonna stack up. I'll need to stack them up manually. Let's actually have some food. Eat some food. One, two, three. Should be fine, right? All good. All right, now the way we switch is this way. So this is a rock, right? I'm pretty sure this is a rock. Okay, I'm almost sure. Come on. All right, but I do need to pick it up by myself, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but these are oh, that's a lot of rock. Okay, and what was the other thing I needed? Plant fiber. I wonder how dangerous the night is. I've heard this uh, this game does have like uh, opponents. You know, monsters of sort. I need more plants. Come on, give me plants somewhere. Oh, there are animals here. All right. Uh, I think I'm very fast, but at the same time, I really do need plant fiber. That does absolutely nothing. It just destroys it totally. Okay, whatever that is, I'm gonna take it. It's blue, so I'm assuming iron. I mean, it's not gonna give me like. It doesn't tell me what- oh, it does tell me, like, it's down over to the left, next to the toolbar. These ones? No, these ones are nothing. Okay, these ones were plant fiber, though. Any more around here? I really should probably get a farm going or something, just so I don't have to walk around constantly getting plant fiber, because it looks like it's not exactly the easiest thing to do. And since I do like sprinting a lot, I'm probably gonna burn through my food very quickly. Can I take that? Or has it been taken? It has been taken. I've been here before, believe it or not. Any more of them plant fibers around? Okay, I've taken that. I'm just gonna loop around. We have enough plant fiber, but I'd rather get a little bit more for some extra energy bars. You know, food for the masses and all that. Okay, a little bit more. I'm glad it's giving you at least two. Ooh, discovered a silicone deposit. Okay, that's nice. Is it actually gonna show up on the map? Oh, it does! Nice, I like that. This means I don't have to like make a mental note of where it is. Actually, I just noticed that there was, uh, first of all, a mini-map, and uh, second of all, that it shows up on the mini-map. Okay. That's kind of nice. Now I just want to stop the mini-map from rotating. I really hate it when mini-maps rotate. It's probably in the settings somewhere. Okay, there's no more fiber here, and it's almost sunset. It's probably somewhere, but I'm either missing it or... Okay, I'm out of stamina. How fast does it regenerate? Alright, so it doesn't regenerate faster if I'm just standing still by the looks of things. So I just need to, like, not sprint for a little bit. Where's my base? There it is. Alright. Let's uh, build ourselves a bike. Here's some iron for you. Here's some uh, plant protein. Okay, so I need... What did I say I need? Crushed stone, right? 
Nice. So, crushed stone. How much? One? Two? Ah, two should be fine. Okay, that's- oh my, that's a lot. Um, I'm just gonna place stuff here. It's probably not where we're making a base, but whatever. Uh, did I get silicone? Because it says- oh no, I can make it from crushed stone, right? Okay. So, I need carbon substrate, which is whatever. It was this thing. Plant fibers for- well, we do have those. You know, just just saying. Oh, we have plant protein. We don't have plant fiber. Ah, okay. So I need wood for that. Okay, that explains that. While I'm going to find trees, um, where did the? Oh, there it is. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to actually get used to this. Sorry. Let's eat some food, which doesn't, you know, doesn't have a. Defensive mode? Harvesting wood, that's the one. Okay, I see some trees over there. It's kind of dark though. You know what? Let's leave the night away. Quickly. Uh, how did I do that again? Oh, F to sleep up. Okay, that's kind of nice. You know what? Oh, and it's nice and bright. I like this. But we're going to be ending things off here. I get great. There's no pause in this game. I keep forgetting. Uh, we're going to be ending things off here. I'm actually not entirely sure how you even save. Is it this? Is it back up? Okay, that is how you save. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's good to know, because I will actually be uh, taking a break before our next playthrough. For now, though, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this new series of Empyrean Galactic Survival. I'm assuming that that's how it's pronounced, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.